what is up welcome back to another video i know i said that would be the last one for tonight in the other video but since i don't upload all of the videos at once you shouldn't care at all uh anyway so i'm gonna do one more because i played around and there was some stuff that i feel like we need to fix before i forget we have this stupid rotation issue look that sounds very smooth right it's like snapping we don't like this so when he attacks look owned owned so we don't really want this either so uh, there's a couple of things we need to fix the first one should be easy go into the master AI rotation we have this use controller rotation you just disable that and also go to the character and yeah rotation rate 360 should be fine um let's see uh okay um carriage movement and orient rotation to movement should be ticked and he should be smooth look it doesn't snap so that's nice later we can also set up some uh, yeah, it's fine for now so this is starting it's looking way better we also want some kind of rotation when he attacks so that we can't really bug him out like this so the reason he does this is because oh he owned me. The reason he does this is because we only need to be in range for him to actually attack, but we don't tell him what direction to actually attack in. So we should do another one. Uh, so in the master AI, let's create a functions. In the master AI, call a custom event. Call it event attack rotate to target. From here, uh, make a timeline. Add timeline, call it attack rotation. And we're just gonna do maybe two seconds. We're gonna add a flow track. Right click here. I hope you can see my cursor. Right click, add key. The first key is gonna be zero, zero. The second key is gonna be two, uh, two seconds too long. One, one, one. And let's make it once, one second. Maybe it's a quick rotation, we'll see. Uh, we can change the values later in that case. Uh, so we are gonna get actor rotation of ourselves. We're gonna promote it to a variable. We're gonna call it start rotation. and yeah that's fine play from start and we now need another function called custom event oh it's fine server set actor rotation and i think this should be fine because it's running on the server anyway so maybe we don't need this Let's just see if we don't need it. Let's start by just set actor rotation. Mm, and we're gonna get player. No, we're gonna get target. We're gonna get the target. We're gonna get target rotation. No, we're gonna get target location. Find look 
get actor location. Yeah, there we go. Find look. Is this what I need? Let's, I think, I think this is what we need. Actually, we start, because we want to rotate to an actual location, not to its rotation. Yeah, so this should be fine. Um, so not start rotation. Get actor location, promote a variable. start location we can rename this we're just gonna try and see if this works now uh, winterp2 nope uh, lerp we're gonna lerp and the a is gonna be get actor rotation nope Maybe we actually need this start rotation. Okay, yeah, we do need this. So the start rotation, but we're gonna get the actor location. I have no idea if this is gonna work. Let's let's do like this and let's plug in the start location here. No, the start rotation. So we're gonna lerp from the start rotation. The start rotation is gonna be a constant variable because we set it before here, so it's not gonna be on the update. This and this will though, however, take on every update, so I'm not sure it's gonna work. And the alpha is gonna be the alpha of the uh, track. So call it back in here, we're gonna rename it rotation track. So I don't feel like this is gonna work, but it's a starting point. So let's do it. And we need another, let's create, let's copy this enable damage. AI attack rotation. And in here on begin play, we're gonna delete this. And what did we call it? Event attack rotate to target. It's this event, yeah. So we're gonna start there. And on the end, we are gonna uh, call custom event. Call it events stop attack rotation. And on the end, we're gonna call event stop attack rotation. I have no idea if this is gonna work, but well, let's find out. Let's go to the zombie. And now we need another track. I have not of a state. AI attack rotation. Let's do this straight from the start. All the way through. Something like that. Let's see if we can copy it. Can, that's nice. Ah, add notify track. I don't feel like this will work, but let's try it out. We should try to stand alone first to see if it's a replication or not. Hmm. I'm not sure. I feel like he's actually rotating. No, he's not. He is. He is. He was rotating. He's rotating a little bit.
Okay, so he is actually rotating a little bit. That's that's good. Um, I mean, do I need to shorten the timeline or do I? Let's force shortest path. I mean, is this fine? I'm just setting, uh, I'll come back to that part. Well, I mean, maybe it's not perfect, but it's better. I mean, we can't really go behind him now in the same way we could before, so maybe it's fine. Yeah, I, I, I like this. I mean, he's a quick fucker for being a zombie, but we can't really, we can't really, we can't really go behind him. No, no, he's dangerous. Okay, so it's fine. I guess this is uh, a checkbox called problem solved. No? Yeah, he picks us up if we try to go behind. So, yeah, I don't really like that though. He is snapping in the wrong direction. I think it's the force shortest path. I should move that. Uh, but that's an absolute win, right? I mean, it's not the absolute easiest solution. But it is, it is, it's kind of nice actually. It's, I mean, this, this shouldn't, if you try this now, you're just stupid. So I feel like the tactics is actually quite valid. So yeah, uh, that's fine. And we are, was that replicated? Yeah, client. Okay. Easier than expected. Uh, maybe there's gonna be, I feel like there's not, there's something that's gonna bother us there later, but let's just do that for now. So, uh, what I did was basically I just reduced the timeline. You can, yeah, play around with the timeline length and the flow track length. Um, but I feel like it's it's working now, so good. Um, as always, let me know in the comments if there's any questions. I feel like I need to keep this, I'm gonna close this video now at 30 minutes because the last one was 40 minutes, so that's fine. And as always, let me know in the comments if you have any questions and if there's any suggestions or whatever. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.